Shut up and sit down. Hey friends, I'm Simon. I'm Ellie. And if you enjoy our videos, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and of course hit the bell thing. That would be very kind of you indeed. And we were contacted recently by a filmmaker called Chris Sutcliffe from the UK, our old stomping ground, who asked if we would be kind enough to take a look at his trailer. And of course we will. We love checking out movie trailers, especially as this one is a horror movie, and I am quite a horror aficionado. You're a little bit more discerning on the horror front, right? I am scared. And this is a movie that Chris was telling us took 10 years to make. And there's a really interesting story on their Kickstarter page of the, the arc of this movie and, and how it came to be. But he did ask us to approach this with an open mind and give our honest opinions about it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to check out the trailer for Codacil right now. If you want to see what we think about it, then stick around until the end. But for now... Let's go. Let's go. Spook you already. <laughs> There's a trail of bodies across Europe. People being shot down and killed like dogs in the street. No shred of evidence, no DNA, and no leads. We have a man in a mask killing people in their own homes. You've wow. got to be connected somehow. If you're right, why didn't they warn us? I think they're hiding something. Fourteen dead in three days. Could be right. Whatever it is they're trying to hide. It might be best left hidden. The perp's a ghost. No, he's not a ghost. He's some kind uh -huh. of... Revenant. Ah. I'm afraid they both. What we've done is way beyond our jurisdiction. Someone is taking off this. If he came here for him. Oh my god. Oh my god. I came here for you. So, we said we would give our honest opinion to Chris on what we thought of the trailer. What are your thoughts on Codacil? It's such an interesting concept. It's, I feel like it's not something we've seen before, because it, it's kind of presented as like a police kind of crime procedural, which we've seen a million times. But also there are these different types of killings. You've got people being killed in their own homes, seemingly like with hammers, and you've got people being gunned down in the street. Like two completely different styles of killing from like a police point of view. But why do they think they're connected? And what is it that makes them think the um, perpetrator is a revenant? I mean, aside from the creepy mask that's just slightly too scary for me to cope with, what, what makes them think those things are connected? Yeah, and if you read the Kickstarter page, and we're going to put a link to the Kickstarter in our description here. And by the way, check out the rewards if you invest in this movie. You can get like a character named after you. You can get a line of dialogue. You can appear in the movie. Like So check that out. But in the Kickstarter, it mentions that the movie was originally going to be called Revenant. Ooh. And then, of course, Leonardo DiCaprio made a movie called The Revenant and stole it. So it's now called Codacil. Which, you know, to me, I really liked everything you just described, like the sense of mystery. There was definitely a really strong kind of feeling of suspense. Like, it, it actually felt more like a thriller in some ways mm. than a horror movie, until the very end when you see this masked character just wantonly murdering. But man, yeah, I really liked that sense of suspense and the feeling that 
I really had no idea. There were these characters being kind of introduced to us, but mm. not in that cheesy, I am introducing a character. He is from this background kind of a way. It was just snippets of his just a glimpse of this character's mm. personality and you don't really know. And and uh, there were kind of conflicting glimpses of those characters as well. And it, it made me think, like, is one of them the one behind the mask? Is one in league with the one behind the mask? And all of that just made me want to watch the movie. And, and surely that's the point of the trailer, right? Yeah. I hate trailers that just spoil the whole storyline. And you're like, well, why would I bother watching the movie now? This trailer genuinely made me want to watch this yes. movie. And, you know, it kind of blew my mind as well that... You know, the, the the amount they're asking for to make this movie is not a lot of money. It's probably a similar amount of money that Kevin Smith used to make Clerks back in the 90s, I guess wow. if you adjust it to inflation. So I really, really hope they meet their goal and actually, uh, actually manage to make this movie because now I really want to see yes. it. And surely that's the point of this whole thing is you get people hooked on just that little teaser and they throw their money at you to go make the movie. The other thing that just occurred to me is them saying it's 10 years in the making. Initially, I was thinking, okay, so, you know, like, they put a lot of effort into it. It, it, you know, it took 10 years to kind of bring all these different elements together. But now I'm wondering, because we've seen it a couple times before with kind of high-concept movies where they've used the passing of time as an element in the movie by having the character's age. Um, I think, was it Boy? There was that movie that they made kind of over 15 years. Mm. And so now I'm wondering, is that going to be an element? It didn't take 10 years to make it, but there's some element of the movie that required like the actual progression of time. Oh, wow. Well, they do tell that 10-year story in the Kickstarter mm. page, so go read that. But okay. that's, that's really interesting, that maybe they filmed stuff 10 years ago, some of that footage is blended in with mm. modern footage, and you can tell the story of these characters over a decade. I, I hadn't even thought about that angle. Maybe there's a sneaky angle to this that I hadn't considered. Well, hey, well, thanks, Chris, for reaching out. We are super excited to hear more about Codacil. Uh, we're going to keep track of this project as it's progressing. Fingers crossed they hit their Kickstarter mm. goal and raise enough funds to actually make this one because it looks to be a great movie. Just... Otherwise, we'll never know how what the connection is. Exactly, yeah. I mean, to me, a great movie is a great story that I feel invested in, and I already feel invested in this just from the trailer. So, hey, thank you again, Chris, for reaching out to us with this project. Best of luck with the next steps. Keep in touch with us, and we will see all of you very, very soon. Friends, on the next Nerd Safari. Peace out, nerds. Shut up and sit down.